Good morning, good evening, good night. Whenever you guys are watching this channel, first subscribe. I know a lot of people are talking about the Part B, retaking the Part B, but let me show you how to figure out what you need to study, what part you need to study. I know a lot of my YouTube subscribers have uh, asked me about the results, and I know it's 46 questions, but you know, they can change weekly. So it's 46 questions, and I'm going to break it down and show you exactly what you need to study. This is from one of my YouTube subscribers. They sent me this email. So uh, you see I'm outside getting some of this vitamin D. Get you some. Don't stay in that house. Get outside and get some of this vitamin D. But here go how you break it down. And trust my math on this. Uh, I'm not using a calculator, but uh, I'm going to get in the ballparks. All right, here you go. I'm going to zoom into this and see if I can explain it a little bit better. I just got this from one of uh, somebody off YouTube. They had failed the part B. So let me explain it to you again. These are all the categories. Like I said, there's a total of 46 questions. As of today, they may change it in the future or they may have already changed it. But if you sum all these questions up right here and trust my math, if you do the math here, that's 46. So this is the minimum number of questions in each one of these categories. Say for instance, the welding inspection and flaws, 17 is the minimum. So utilizations uh, of specification and drawings, you got five procedures and welder's qualifications, you got 14 and so on. So each question is worth 2.17 points each. So you have to get at least 34 right to pass this. So this is what they sent him back right here. They said the welding inspection and flaws. You know it's 17 questions and he got eight right. So he missed a total of nine. So this is something that he should concentrate on. If he would have got four more of these right right here, he would have made a 73. He would have passed. And you look right here, he got four out of five. And then you got procedures and qualifications he got um 10 out of 14 so he didn't do too bad right here 10 out of 14. that's maybe something he should look into this one especially the welding inspection and flaws if he concentrate more on this he'll pass the test the next time and you're looking at the ndt and mechanical tests and properties it was only five questions each and he got four out of the five so that's good and the welding inspection and flaws, this is what he should concentrate on because he missed nine out of that. You know, it's a total of uh, 17 and he got eight right. So he missed over 50% of that. So if he concentrate on that, he'll be good. So if this video helps, subscribe to my channel and thank you and have a great day.